All right, welcome back to A Blast from the Past. We're gonna go back and look at the time that we bought a $16.5 million mansion that's worth double now. Honestly, I wouldn't sell that house right now unless somebody paid me double, which they possibly could do. You know what? We're gonna put this thing on the damn market. Now's the time. The only thing is I gotta find somewhere else to live. Stay tuned, and that was the buy. Maybe you'll get to see the sale. Don't forget, Life is Sale Live, December the 4th. Book your room, come to the show, hang out with us. Let's all talk about making some money. Today, I bought this house for $16.25 million. I bought it because I'm a big, fat motherfucker. It's a great house. Look at it. It's got a pool. It's got this. It's got that. It's got everything. It's a great place. And it's the biggest motherfucker in town. We're going in here to close a deal on a big house. A big house. I'm trading two houses so I don't have to have two houses. I don't want a beach house and a house here. So we're trading two houses for one. Big deal. People do it all the time. Everything is confidential until the deal is closed. After today, the deal will be mine. Then I can do what I want. Otherwise, you have to protect people's privacy. So what's okay? So, so Remember, protect people's privacy. Mm -hmm. Three PPs. You are the PPP, the PP with an extra P. There was a lot of truth to this. It's all truth. Basically, we had a house on the intercoastal. Then she wanted to have a house on the beach. So we had a house in the coastal, we had a house on the beach every goddamn Friday. We had to pack all this shit up to go to the beach house and hang there for the weekend. And then we had to get the hell out of there in time Sunday night and get home to where the kids had to be so they can go to school. So all this schlepping around every weekend to the beach house was a pain in the ass. This house made sense when you look at the whole picture. Now we got one house Okay, on the beach, and it was a damn good deal. There's no utilities. You already turned You already get those on. So, I mean... Has the house been empty for a while? Yeah. Unoccupied? Yeah, like your head. <laughs> Occupied. So what do you want for my life? I'm signing a piece of paper, big deal. Okay, he was signing a paper, here. It's a simple deal, buying a house. You know, people buy houses every day. This guy's a real pain in the neck. I gotta make sure all this stuff is fixed in the house. Can you do me a favor and give me a copy? Because when I leave here, I can go to the house and make sure all this stuff was done. Uh -huh. What am I gonna do about the stuff that hasn't been done, Tom? There is a, a pump that's not working on the pool. There's fireplaces that aren't working. Uh, I saw some spider webs. That pool pump, I know, takes time to order. And it's like a, a, I heard it's like a $15,000 pump. So what do we do? Your latest buddy, Raphael, is guaranteeing it. So I'm holding an agent responsible, a Polish agent at that, yeah. responsible. All right, what else? We got nothing going on except I'm refinancing Clearwater Beach Hotel. Yeah. He wants this, they want character references from the bank. Oh, really? How dare they question character. my character? Anything can come up with any How for you? How dare they? Just tell me to go on YouTube and find out all you know. Um, I told him, call Jimmy Hart. What do you do all day? <laughs> what do I do all day? I take care of you. <laughs> so hey, it's the biggest here. house sale on the west coast of Florida. Come on. So what's the story? I just uh, signed all the docs. The money's uh, being wired. Are you ready for my inspection? Yeah, but uh, I'm not gonna hold back. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna release the wire or the money until I see the do the inspection. All right, it's real simple. When you buy a house, make sure that if there's anything wrong with it, you negotiate for it to be fixed. You know, before you agree to buy the house, and whatever they agree to fix, make sure it gets fixed because people are forgetful and make sure that somebody is on the hook for getting the stuff fixed if it ain't fixed before you close the escrow. You're not allowed here. In fact, I'm signing a trespass 
a no trespass order with the city of Bel Air. Doing the podcast here. I'm not doing nothing here. You know, you can't be sentimental with this stuff. It's all about making money, making money. Progress, move ahead. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? It takes me like five days really? to clean the whole place, like five days by myself. Really? So you've been yeah. cleaning this place for over a year? Yeah. You've been cleaning this place for over a year? Yeah. Were people living in it or empty? Well, they come and go. They they're, not, they're not really yeah. here often. Yeah. So what do you normally charge, basically, to clean? Well, I get $20 an hour. Okay. Yeah. But I love it. This is dope, man. Congratulations. So yeah. you got a card or a number? I have a number. I don't have a card. But I'll give you my number for sure. You come so. by yourself or you come with people? Riley, my partner. Like the cleaners? Yeah. Yeah, they're, I'm the property manager. They need you to clean. So you get both for 20 bucks an hour? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good deal. she works hard. We're just doing a walkthrough for a little house over on the beach. I've made some mistakes in my life, but this could be the biggest. <laughs> I'm, I may go broke over this place. Taxes, insurance, <laughs> landscaping, no pool, no. housekeeping. Yeah, you can't afford it. I gotta get a job. So, the generator work in this dump? Yeah. Yeah. The hurricane comes, I want power. Is this real stone? No. <laughs> Is this a real stone or is this that fake yeah, stuff they have in Disney World? This place looks like Disney. It's all too good to be true. How am I? You want me to tell you how I am? Yeah. I'm broke. So I guess he's checking everything. That's that. No coffee, no bagels. See, now you close no the deal. Bagels? Last time he had coffee and bagels. Now he has nothing. Once they rope you in these real estate agents, then they cut the line. As soon as they see that money's coming, they cut the line. <laughs> what is that? How do you have a wood counter? It gets scratched up. It's yeah. stupid. Yeah. You just put a stone counter on top of it. I mean, why would anybody design a, a wood? Listen That's as stupid as a concrete one. Why would they put a wood counter? I want this changed. Write it down. I'm not closing. Send your guys saying. over granite. You guys split the bill. This place sucks. So you told her? Okay, so she's coming over now. Yeah, she can. Who? The newspapers. So we can show you know, who's the big shot real estate agent in town. We're, we're the Pollock. Huh? Who's gonna hey. kill you? Oh. Hey, how are you? Nice you? to see you. Welcome to 20,000 square feet of perfection on who's the Gulf of Mexico. Uh -huh. Over 200 feet of linear footage. An unheard of assemblage of two and a half lots never to be duplicated ever again. Not ever. Bullshit, you can buy two city houses and knock them down and build the same shit. Well, I tend to disagree you, with you. Would you say this is the nicest house in Pinellas County? Absolutely, the nicest home in Pinellas, Hillsborough, Sarasota, Manatee counties. Why, why do you say that? Are you serious or are you just being like... I'm being completely serious. Uh, you're basically, really you're perfect. looking at a home that most likely had materials here that were brought over from every oh, part of the world. Well, also Israel, in addition to Poland. But you've got limestone, you've got cast stone, you have this unbelievable 4,000 square foot veranda on the Gulf, you have 200 linear feet on the Gulf of Mexico, you have a pool that extends the width of the property, you have a separate guest home that is more luxurious than most of the homes on this stretch of beach. Um, just incredible workmanship. You've got hardened, cabinetry, hardened house cabinetry. You've got stone flooring, European oak and ash. Um, you have a trophy room, you have a bowling alley, you have a wine cellar, you have a dedicated guest house, you have a game room, you have a fitness center, <laughs> you have a seven car garage, you have 5,000 square feet of covered loggia terrace. It is surreal. And I don't believe that there's ever been anything like this that has closed for a record amount. Is this guy a salesman or what? Okay, you got to give this guy credit. Yes, he's a pain in the ass. Yes, he's crazy. But he's a real salesman. He knows more about shit than you buy than you'll ever know. He, or he bullshits really well.
library slash den slash office was basically modeled after a two-story duplex apartment at the Osborne in New York City, right across from Carnegie Hall. I mean, it's exquisite. Wow. It's funny that this office came from New York. I came from New York. So there you go. This office was meant for me. Welcome to the wine cellar, the Napa. So it's completely inspired by like a Napa Valley wine cellar. You have a formal dining room with the most incredibly rich hardwoods, scalimandri and crevet wallpapers. It has calamari wallpaper. Inlaid ceilings, this exquisite fixture, and then a picture window right into that incredible wine cellar where you can, it's big enough to host an event. I'm putting soda in there. Okay. So this is a butler's kitchen. An actual butler's kitchen separate, a dedicated butler's kitchen separate from the main kitchen where basically, look, look, look at this incredible cabinetry, right? Wolf gas range, six burner. Look at this incredible stone farmhouse sink. This actually was hand hammered in Maine. Take a look, Thermidor refrigerator. The quality, the selections of this home, basically on, uh, on par with no one else. The absolute most expensive way to finish a wall in Florida where they usually use knockdown texture, orange peel, or a variation thereof, yeah. is this beautiful skin coating. This is the most expensive way to finish a wall. So basically, if there are any defects, you typically use um, like an orange peel or a knockdown texture. There's none of that here. Ceilings, walls, look at the perfection here. At least 22 different ceilings that I've been able to count in this home. Each of them a different play, a different theme. Sucks. I hate this house. Ben. I should have bought this house. This is where the Batmobile will be living. This is basically Nirvana Central, man. This is it. This is what happens when money meets opportunity. This is what happens when a Pollock real estate agent get, catches you while you're drunk and sells you a house. Well, you get taken advantage of and overpay. Can you go to the backyard from here? Absolutely. You can. Absolutely, you can. Well, I follow you through this way. Here's uh, the elevator for the guest home. Here is the staircase for the guest home where you will be residing in. This is actually the covered loggia terrace from beneath the guest home, which is probably bigger than anyone in Beller Beach or Beller Shore to begin with. But it follows up or it follows through across this covered bridge crossing to another 5,000 square feet of covered loggia terrace. Clean the ceiling. But they will. Hey, there's a leak in a pool. Get this leak stopped right here. Hold on, hold on. Let me do it. Call a plumber and get a leak stopped on there. Now stay like that till the plumber comes. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. Here, you got a pool. Big deal. Oh, yeah, a pool. You have a pool that Landmark Pools put in that is unreal. Take a look. You basically wait in with the stone feature with the small little fountain deal all pebble tech through. You've got a covered bridge. You've got a spa towards the very end. All of it culminates in a lazy river that runs the entire property. If I swim the lazy river 
Five times, it's one mile. I'm thinking about starting to do it. A little seating area. Just a little, little bar area here for this pool area that could basically seat, what, about 50 or 60 people. Billiards table, lazy river that goes all the way around. Here, let's, let's go to the bowling alley. Come on through, welcome to the bowling alley. With bowling shoes. We even have Ben size here. Hold on a second, do we have a 15? No, I guess Ben's gotta buy a pair. Would this fit him? Probably not. No, he needs like the double wide shoes. The double wide shoes, I understand. I'm only a 13 or a 14, depending on how much weight I lost that week. So the shoes are there for me. I am with the Tampa Bay Times and I am getting ready to do a news story with our business reporter about the sale of this home. Supposedly it's the biggest sale in the history of Tampa Bay. That, okay, so why, why this house? Why this house? Yeah. Well, because I currently have two houses, so if I take two houses and put them together, then I only have one house. And um, what in particular about this house on the beach? Well, we looked at all the houses that are available on the beach for sale, and uh, this is a little more than we wanted or needed, but you only live once, so. How many people will be living here? Me, my wife, and my 11-year-old. So how long have you been looking? Uh, we've been looking now for at least four months, yeah. I just, I got with the wrong agent, basically. I hired the wrong agent, and he talked me into this place. <laughs> and uh, now, are you, does it need any work? Ben, are you going to put a big Jewish star on the roof? <sighs> you need a camera guy at the newspaper. You need an assistant. With a real ass assistant, that's him. Nice to meet you. This is my wife of over 15 years. We just wow, turned our 15th anniversary, and this is her gift. For 15 years of putting up with me, this is what she gets. Now she has two grand prizes, me and a house. She was only 12 when we got married. I'm no, just kidding. No, no, I was not. Don't listen to him. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Thank you. So the previous owner got traded, and so did the house. Oh, you retired. First he got traded, didn't he? Yeah, who who oh, was here, the previous here. owner? I, know the I think it was Birdman. Yeah. Let me tell you, these two right here, they cleaned up today. Yeah. They cleaned up. Yeah. Okay, he's already he's already planning a world cruise. <laughs> and Paying off my credit cards today. <laughs> <laughs> Paying these babies off. Stupid hey, question. seriously, you know what I wanted to call this article? What? I want, you know what you should call this? Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> it looks like the Beauty and the Beast castle, That's doesn't it? Headline. Yeah, it does. Beauty <laughs> and the Real top Estate of the Beast. Line, baby. Yes. Uh, there's still some open issues that the realtor uh, has uh, promised me that will be taken care of. So I guess we're okay. Yeah, I'll accept your congratulations, and I'll counter you with a thank you very much. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hey, do me a favor, miss. Are you there? Can we keep that title open for a little while? So if I get a loan, the bank, uh, can we can reuse it? Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was the call where Mr. Mala officially funded the purchase of the house. Here's the closing. Today... He made the biggest sale ever. What's the biggest wow. fire ever? Yeah. Oh my God. The biggest sale ever. The girthiest. So no, I said the biggest. I'm going to where we keep the guests. I like to refer that as the pest house because normally our guests are pests. You come into the guest house. Look at this. Look at that, baby. That's yummy.
yoga right there. Oh, stop! Help me get my foot off of here. I've only been to the gym and the sauna one. Here's the first test room. With a balcony. Look at that, baby. It has, has all these balconies and nobody ever goes on them. It's just for looks, I guess, because it's not like the old days. People go out in their balconies or, you know, I don't know. People don't go on their balconies that much. Another balcony. This is a guest master suite. I need to buy for this house is about 50 ashtrays from the dollar store and plant them everywhere. Then this house will be complete. I get waved to everybody. Hey everybody, how you doing? I didn't even know this room was here. What's in it? Let's see. Trophy room. Uh, must be that. Ooh, look at this. An extra room I didn't even know about. This is where we're gonna Cut off the heads of all my enemies and put them in these boxes. And we'll start with you, Danny. Your head's going in this box, baby. Anyway, I didn't even know this room existed. I don't have any trophies because I never won anything in my life. I don't know. I guess I could hang my Jimmy Hart pictures in here. I took all the boxes out, put a pool table in there, a hockey table in there, and a fool's ball in there. This is a big difference to where I grew up. A big difference. What does it mean for you to buy a house like this? It means that, you know, I've been working for all my life and I'm not gonna live forever and I want my family to be taken care of after I'm gone and I wanna leave a legacy and hopefully if we keep this house, then they'll uh, have many, many years to enjoy it even after I'm gone. In the meantime, we got a nice big house on the beach and uh, hopefully we'll all live happily ever after. If we can get rid of Danny, that'll be the first step. I mean, it's been a great house to live in. We've been here for a couple of years now, and uh, we've had a lot of good times here. We're still living happily ever after. Hit the like button. Go to BenMallow.com. Consult with Ben. Get me on the phone. Let's talk about making some money. Don't forget, December the 4th, we got a show. Hit the link, book your room, come hang out with us. Who do you got better to hang out with than me and our gang on December the 4th, Saturday night? Be there. Adios, amigos.